Hello and welcome to the RTS Toolkit tutorial series. In this video, we're gonna create a new map and add all necessary actors to make RTS Toolkit work properly. First of all, let's create a new map. We can delete this default platform and add new landscape. Let's set its material to mi underscore landscape, just for example. Now you can sculpt and modify a landscape. After our landscape is ready, we should add four invisible wall actors to the level, to prevent player path through the defined borders. Invisible wall actor is located in an environment slash blueprints folder. After that, we should go to the foxup system slash blueprints folder and add two level corner point actors to the corners of the level. These actors are used by the focal force system and define level bounds. Also, we should add two map travel corner points. Place them right on the corners of the invisible walls. They are used for the fast map traveling when you click on the minimap and move your mouse. Let me save my level and we will start working on a fog of war and minimap setup. To make fog of war system work, just place the fog of war actor in your level and set its x and y axis to zero. Now we're gonna create a minimap texture. Add a sand capture to the actor to the level. Move it a little bit higher than your mountains and hills and set its projection type to orthographic and ortho width high enough to capture all your level. Also, let's create a new render tag. Set its X and Y size to some high value to create a high resolution minimap snapshot. Let's set our sand captures texture target property to our recently created map render target. Also, let's rotate the sand captures camera to make it shoot our landscape. Now let's export our texture target as HDR file. We should convert it to the PNG or TGA format and it can be done in different ways, but I will use online converter. After that, we can edit converted map texture to make it look better. Now we can import this map texture to the project. Also, you can delete this render target and send capture because we don't need them more. Finally, we should go to the map subsystem slash widgets folder, open w underscore minimap window, click on the minimap widget and set a map texture property to the created map texture. Compile, save. As the final step, we're gonna add some predefined RTS units to the map. Firstly, I recommend to place a post-process volume in your level. Make it unbound and set its mean and max brightness to 1.
Now let's add some units to the level. Predefined RTS units allocated in the RTS characters slash blueprints folder. Here is a human, horde and global subfolders. Also don't forget to add a nav mesh bounce volume to your level. Now go to the RTS characters slash blueprints, open the RTS player controller and uncheck the play welcome sequence variable. This variable controls the cinematic sequence in the showcase map, so you should leave it unchecked. Finally, let's test what we have done. We can see that the fog of war and map systems work fine. We can't path through the invisible walls. We can even control these units and the fog of war reveals properly. We are coming to the end of this episode. In the next video, we will create and set up a new RTS unit class. See you next time!